call the meeting to order at 6.30. And uh, President uh, Joe Daly, Linda Johnson, Susan Ray, and Mary Turner. Um, first item on the agenda is approval of the minutes from the October 28th meeting. If everyone has had an opportunity to review those minutes, do I have a motion to approve the minutes? What date was that? The 28th of October. Okay. Yeah. I'll forward them to you as well for the record. Okay, do I have a motion to approve? Yep, motion to approve. Okay, Joe? Second. Second. Thank you, seconded by Linda. Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. 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 Aye, okay, thank you. Motion passes. Now, next on this agenda is the swap shop um, report. <clears throat> and this is for the entire season. Our swap shop experience was a very successful season with a return to a normal non-COVID operating schedule with a very credible numbers of fine donations from the swap, uh, from the uh, Simsbury residents to the uh, shop inventory. High numbers of visitors and adoption items that uh, will now not be going to the waste stream soon and a re record number of cash donation that exceeded the cost of our clean outs for the year, which is always a hopeful uh, for goal. Uh, but what really is wonderful news is that for the recycling committee and for the town of Simsbury, uh, we will be the official announcement to Tom Roy, director of the public works is that the Simsbury Lions Club has agreed to assist in the management of the swap shop. Through the efforts of Susan Ray, seven members of the Lions Club have been recruited for training and inclusion in the swap shop season management schedule. During the summer and end the fall of the 2021, all seven Lions Club volunteers have received their initial and final training sessions with completion for all training scheduled for next year. I would like to mention the num uh, numerical accomplishments that we achieved at the swap shop this year, which are one way we measure our success of mission. Despite the advent of the pandemic in, in 2020, the number of visitors, 1,106 was a welcome return to the normal. That's a lot. Uh, with this good number of visitors stopping in, an average of 41 per Saturday, the number of adoptions was 1,311, which is a fine record also in return. Our donation volunteer hours uh, uh, amounted to 135 hours, which is three and a third weeks, 40 hour work week were catalysts for these fine results. Putting aside the numbers, there is a personal measurement that is apparent in the appreciation that is shown, uh, should, uh, that is shown by many of our visitors for the availability of the swap shop venue in the town of Simsbury. They like the operation and credit this community for its existence. All considered, we had a very successful recovery year at the swap shop, and I would like to personally thank each and every one of you for your unselfish contribution of time and effort to this community betterment. Um, to say the least, it was a stupendous success. And um, that's my report. I will be sending a written report uh, with all of the data and uh, numbers to um, J Tom Roy Ray, so you'll have it for your records and this report, written report as well. But um, thank you, Sue, for, for helping us to achieve this, uh, this remarkable uh, achievement. No, they all enjoyed it, so they wanted me to pass that on. Yes, please do. It was remarkable. Um, the next item um, on the agenda is the food scrap program. I will say I was very, very pleased. I got the uh, latest numbers from Chris Knight, 
who works for Flemick Farm, who picked up in the um, several uh, weeks after our, my last report. And we now have a total poundage collected from Fitzgerald's, 1,435 pounds of scrap food. And that's 345 more in just the last few weeks. And um, just to let that, you know- That was uh, in what time frame, Mary? Uh, this is the total amount for the, from the very beginning of the program. But from the last meeting we had, we had from October 23rd on through November 17, there was 345 pounds collected. That's a lot. Uh, very, very, very impressed. Um, I will say that Kane's Market has already signed on to working on this as well. They have not yet gotten uh, on board um, because they're working at getting the bins together from the farm to drop them off at Kane's Market. And they feel that uh, they will be able to accomplish that starting after Thanksgiving. So Kane's Market will be part of the program as well. So um, that was uh, a very uh, good uh, set of numbers. I, I was very pleased with that. And uh, Chris will continue to give me these numbers ongoing. Um, Mary, how so, often do they pick up from uh, Fitzgerald's? Um, at least um, once a week, if not more, uh, like October 30 through November 6, which was one week, they had 80 pounds. The week before, which was October 23 through the October 30, 125 pounds. And then the last one was November 6 through the 17th, 140 pounds. That's more than I ever had expected. So I'm very pleased with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, again, I will send that, uh, that part of the uh, data along uh, to the committee. Um, and uh, next uh, on the agenda is um, Joe, uh, if you would like to give a report on the sustainability CT report. Uh, sure, um, the sustainability uh, committee uh, had a joint meeting with uh, the Clean Energy Task Force uh, last Wednesday. Um, so there, there were many things talked about, but uh, in relation to the certification and sustainable CT, um, you know, those stats you were just going through for the swap shop, you know, eventually, you know, uh, we'll need those you know, in a format uh, that we can submit uh, for certification um, yep. along with, uh, you know, I, I can put together a, a write-up on the, on the food scrap uh, program. Um, I know there were those two things. And then also in our last certification, there was um, a tally or an inventory of some meetings that were held at the library. I, I think they were mainly uh, driven by the Simsbury Land Trust. And I'm not sure, you know, they, they kind of covered a, a, you know, a varying range of topics, but, um, you know, they did satisfy some of the sustainability uh, action requirements. So I'm just wondering if anything like that has been going on at the library in the past year because of COVID. Um, you mean, what yeah. meetings are we talking about that? I'm not, I'm a little confused. Um, I, I think it was um, a, uh, a series of, I, I don't know if there were speakers that the land trust had. Well, they usually have uh, a movie 
and then sometimes a speaker with the movie. Um, the library has been working with the Grange and the Land Trust for some programs. So if you can tell me what kinds of programs would meet that criteria for you, I can make a list of them and give them to you. Well, what I can do is I can, um, I can send you that file, uh, Sue, from, from the last certification to just, you know, and it, it has all the programs on there. So maybe if I could just send it to you and you could take a look and just see if anything like that has been happening at all. Okay. Uh, cause, cause if it has, you know, I'll just, um, I'll just write that up to, to include it, to include that. Are they, in, is the pollinator pathway part of that program too? Or? Yes. Yep. Yeah, pollinator pathways um, satisfies, you know, some of the action, um, certifiable actions for, for sustainability. Um, and I believe um, uh, Mark and um, uh, Bob Crowther, I believe, who, you know, they're they're on the sustainability committee. I believe they've been in touch with the folks who uh, run the, uh, the pollinator pathways. Okay. So, um, but I, I'm not sure, I mean, if you had any information on that or if there's been programs at the library. Yeah, we've done that. We, we've started a pollinator garden at the library. I know they're starting one over at the historical society. And I know that Different people throughout town have created some too. Okay, yeah, that'll um, <clears throat> we can use all that stuff. Uh, you know, these these write ups are due um, kind of after the holidays. You know, I, I I think the final date is in April for submission, but you know, January, February, I, I think we're really going to be working to to pull together. Uh, any reports and write-ups that we have. Okay. Okay. Yep. So um, it's it it's it's moving along, and um, um, I, I believe the Clean Energy Task Force and Sustainability Committees might be meeting together uh, going forward. Um, there's been some talk about merging those two. Yeah, they're, they're not officially merged yet because I thought that was in the plan about six months ago. No, not not officially. Um, okay. No, I believe okay. I believe the board of selectmen is is going to be looking at that shortly. Yeah. 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 yeah, it requires an act of the board of selectmen, and they just haven't taken it up yet. Okay. All right, I would be interested in knowing when that is taken up um, because um, that's something I want to stay on top of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any more? Uh, I will definitely forward you all the data from the swap shop as well as from the, um, the uh, food scrap program. I, I don't like to use the word compost only because for some ungodly reason, um, the, the state has used, kind of put a a stop on compost for whatever reason. Uh, though, but this is uh, food scraps that actually go to the farm directly and is cut up and fed to the animals. So it, does, it doesn't go into composting itself. It's used to pay, feed the animals. So that was a good thing. Yeah, but I will well, forward the, the data to you for both the um, compost numbers as well as the uh, recycling committee. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything further? Do you have any, anyone have any questions of Joe on the report? Okay, hearing none. Um, I just wanted to um, go to the unfinished business. Recycling award usually is decided at this meeting um, and is usually distributed on, uh, at the November Board of Selectmen's meeting. But instead, we're going to um, postpone it until 
next April, the have it presented at the April 11th Board of Selectmen's meeting, which is the closest to April 15th, which is Earth Day. And this will give us more, more time to make a decision on the award. It's uh, usually given to one entity or person. So we'll, um, we'll take it up either in the January, February, or even the March meeting, but be prepared for the uh, Board of Selectmen's meeting uh, presentation. Hopefully by then we could do this in, in, in person presentation. Um, Next, be, is there any be a shared award? It can be a shared award, yes. It doesn't have to be just one person or one entity, okay? Yep. Um, and so it's something that we all should consider and, and think about. It is something that is not uh, discussed um, in a recorded uh, meeting. It is behind the scenes so that it is a, a bit of a surprise when it comes down on April. Uh, so we've always kept that um, the nominees for this type of, um, of an award is kept too uh, close to the chest until uh, the April meeting. So we can all discuss this offline and, and do some recommendations and then we can have a discussion on that um, in a closed meeting. Um, okay, is there any, are there any other questions in regard to this? Okay, next thing on the agenda is uh, new business. Uh, my only reminder is that there are, are no meetings in uh, December as uh, has always been. Um, and so our next meeting is scheduled for January 27th. And um, that's, that's it. Do, does any, do anybody um, have any uh, new business? Hearing none, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, I'll second. I'll second Se that. Okay, thank you, Linda. And what time is it now? I don't have it in front of me. About 647. 647, yeah, I've got it. 647. Okay, we adjourn at 647.